Ghostbusters? Yes, Mom, it's a real word. This is Mayor Bradley in the city of New York. Need your help. Sure thing, Mayor. Abby and the rest of the team are on their own mission, but we're happy to help. Oh, fine. It's really just a small private matter anyway. Someone spot a ghost in a mirror or hear a spirit banging around an attic? No. More like a giant rift the size of a football stadium is reopening in the middle of Central Park. Uh, that's not small or private. Hey, let's not blow this minor incident out of proportion and worry my public unnecessarily. I may not be the expert of the group, but I'd say that an unearthly Grand Canyon-sized portal is something for your people to worry about. I give you my word, if you fix this little pickle, you will become anonymous heroes and I will take all the credit. It's a win-win. You know, it's amazing how you have such a kind, sweet, yet deceptive way of saying something completely self-serving. You should run for president. Pull this off without destroying the entire city, and I just might. Do not try to impede my transition as the last group of Ghostbusters has that. Instead, take the pleasure of watching my ascent to eternal destiny. Rowan? Pass. 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 And I will obliterate you and all of humanity. Seriously, dude? You haven't got a chance against our ingenuity, wit, or well collimated particle beams. We're totally gonna stop you. You heard them. Totally. Good luck. You will all need it when I see you in the afterlife. <laughs> This must be the same place where the ladies followed Rowan on his last prophetic rampage. Now it's our turn to stop him. So if we just entered another world, then is this our world now? No, it's still the other world. Wouldn't our world be the other world? Sure you want to keep asking me these philosophical questions while I have a deadly weapon in my hand? Okay, it's our turn to stop him now. Yes. Nice. 
out of this world. In your face, cool friend. Fully recharged. Haunted. <laughs> 